5 a.m. We're back at it. Came in early today because I have to have a trailer in a dock in Winnipeg at 6 a.m. So, here we are. Got up at 4 a.m. <laughs> Didn't have much time to get ready this morning, but I got everything ready last night so that I could just wake up, grab my stuff, jump in the pickup and go. So now we gotta quickly start up the truck, let it warm up a bit, grab our trailer, and head out. I'd like to be there at quarter two at least. Tim Hortons wasn't even open that early. I had to get 7-Eleven coffee. I was so confused. I showed up. Is this, uh, isn't Timmy's always open? What do you do when Tim's isn't open? Thank God for 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven's always open. All, you can trust them. <laughs> all right. Morning, girl. It's early, I know. How was your weekend? Well, her oil's looking good, so. Should be all right. Hey! Wake up! There's another gauge there yet. There you are. I know, Mondays, right? Mondays. Off we go. Trailer in tow. So it's a dry van trailer, and uh, it's got a very strict appointment time, 6 a.m. Time is now quarter after five. It's gonna take us half an hour to get there. There should be no traffic because it's middle of the night. Early, early morning. So we shouldn't have a problem. We shouldn't have a problem. We should get there 15 minutes early to solve any problems that may arise if they do. We don't want to get there right on time because then if problems come up, you got no time to solve them before you're supposed to be in the dock. And this is one of the places that wants you in the dock bang on time. Not early. But not late, so we can't back in early, but we can get there a little early, park, and go let them know we're there, so that we're there, bang on time. That makes sense? I'm still tired, it's Monday. I'm still trucking. Savings time. Everybody would forget to change their clocks and everyone would 
need to work late or something. Work early. Yeah, daylight savings time, so we lost an hour this weekend. I can feel it. <laughs> I didn't sleep as well as I wanted to last night. I was worried that I wasn't going to get up. I kept checking my alarm to make sure my alarm was set for 4 a.m. I didn't want to sleep through it. And then when I finally fell into a nice deep sleep, my alarm went off. Wonderful. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I thought I'd be more tired, but I feel good. I, I must have slept better than I thought I did. I kept waking up. Quite the sunrise over there. Just bobtailing right now. No trailer behind us. So I feel like a racer. These trucks actually move really good. <laughs> they move pretty fast when you don't have a trailer behind you. So no idea what today is going to uh, hold for us. If I'm getting off early, because I started early, or if I'm still working to the end of the day. I'm guessing I'm probably still gonna work to the end of the day. All right, so, south perimeter. East is that way, because that's where the sun comes up. Look at that. Beautiful sunrise. Beautiful. Now that we're on daylight savings time, it actually comes up later. See, it's 7.30 already. It still hasn't come up. But I'm going to go home today, and it'll still be up in the sky. I don't like daylight savings time. I'm not a fan. I like Saskatchewan. You know, they don't do that. It's always the, always the same time there. Look what I got, guys. <laughs> Fixing those horns today. I really like the fender mirrors. I know some people think it looks ridiculous. It does look a little goofy, I guess, from this angle, now that we're used to the other view. Functional. You know, they may not look the prettiest definitely need to be shined up but hey this whole thing needs to be shined up and now it doesn't look like i got horns we have a dry van behind us i have a drop in headingly manitoba and then back up in harbor we were there last week going back there again these hood mirrors are something to get used to they look a little goofy don't they <laughs> they're functional though i like it that they they fill in that blind spot that I have beside my truck so I don't have to stretch to see if there's a motorcycle there or not especially when you're driving in the city a lot even like a cyclist everybody loves cyclists gotta make sure you don't hit those guys because they're everywhere and they don't follow any of the rules so there is every so it's nice people have these mirrors they will see if there's a cyclist right beside me you know That'd be terrible if I hit one. So I don't know. They're pretty wide. They're convex mirrors. I can see a lot. I can see all the way down the side of my truck on both sides. I can see my headlights. I can make sure that my signals and headlights are both working from up here. That's funny. We'll see how I like them. I'll use them for all of today and uh, you know, we'll, we'll do an assessment and a review at the end of the day. Here comes Roger. How come you can go faster than me? His truck's faster. Ah, I got it right down to the floor.
yield sign or not. The people on the highway have the right of way. You have to yield. They just come barreling on there and plug the whole thing up and then everybody's at a standstill. I know, that guy there, he knew what he was doing. High five to him. here and move over here. It's a tough balance building highways, I guess. You want to build it big enough that it can handle rush hour, but you don't want to like spend a whole ton of money into it and make it too big. I couldn't do it guys. I couldn't do it. I got him down in here. All I could think of was Mickey Mouse. That's very distracting when you're trying to do some serious trucking. When all you can think about is Mickey Mouse. So that's not gonna work. So we just pulled in here real quick. I lasted half an hour. Where's my key? There it is. That's all I could do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What was that? Oh, are you mad that I put the Mickey Mouse ears on you? I'm sorry, I won't do that to you again. I'm sorry, man, she was mad. Okay, well, let's continue going. We won't do that again, man. I kept hearing the Mickey Mouse voice in my head the whole time. It's just driving me crazy. I think it looks way better and way slicker like this. And I already got used to it like this. But I'm gonna take the horns off, don't worry. We're back to having the horns here. Oh, Mr. Ford, you can go. You're faster than me. Go on. I'm just gonna hold you up. You too, minivan. You gotta get to hockey practice. Come on. There you go. But I'm gonna bring my tools from home tomorrow. I don't have my Allen wrenches with me here. Uh, and I need them to take them off. And I don't want to buy a new set today just for that, so I'm gonna take them with me. Usually I have them in my pickup, but... Uh, I have no excuse. I feel better like this though. Yeah, I think it would have been better if they wouldn't have looked like Mickey Mouse ears. If they could have made them look a little nicer and slicker, but nah. And it's just a little extra chrome I have to shine up. Ah, whatever. We'll be fine. Should I wait? Should I? I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Thought about it, thought about it. All right. Now we can get down to some serious trucking. No Mickey Mouse business around here. I can still remember. 
remember when southern Manitoba got a lot more snow. I remember when I was a kid digging tunnels through the snow and making little forts under all the snow. Nowadays we're lucky if we even get enough snow to cover the ground. I was always looking forward to buying another snowmobile one day. Now I think it's kind of pointless. I'd rather get a side-by-side. Choices, choices. 
There's never this many choices of where to park. Wow. I have at least three options. Park right over here. hoping to just slip it right in there in one shot and not have to pull forward at all. Show off to you guys a little bit. Guess I could have just refilmed it until I got it right, but kind of want to go home. So that's what you get. <laughs> I had to pull forward once. Nothing wrong with that. We'll do better next time.